the wee bikes. Derek McGee is in pole position on a machine previously run in the World Championship by Cressini Racing. He'll be hard to beat. There may be a question mark about the weather, but they're going anyway. McGee in pole position. He's gone with wet tyres, which may not be the case all round the grid. The road does look quite dry as he powers away toward the first turn at Gordon. He leads from Nigel Moore on bike 86, with Sam Grief slipping into third. However, he's being caught and possibly passed on the approach. Indeed, he is as Paul Garland and Kevin Fitzpatrick leave the breaking a touch later and slip by. Riding with Garland, who's fourth on the road behind Fitzpatrick on the short burst to McAdoo. Where the wind could cause problems for the riders. McGee approaching Black's jump. And a small front wheel wobble with the roads much wetter on this part of the course than they are on the start finish straight. Derek McGee is certainly leading and continues to pull away from Nigel Moore, who was 3.2 seconds behind McGee at the end of lap one. check the scenery along here how it's blowing around in the heavy wind which makes handling these light machines just that little bit tougher the lap record for this class was set by Sam Wilson two years ago 1 minute 36 and McGee's best time has been around five or so seconds off that pace on these wet roads here comes Derek McGee to take the checker flag and he makes it look easy in somewhat troublesome conditions Derek McGee, the runaway winner on the X Grand Prix Moto3 Honda, winning by over nine seconds from Nigel Moore, with Kevin Fitzpatrick in third.